it's Thursday morning. It was minus 3.8 last night. It's currently minus 2.7. Have a feeling. But the, the, just looking at this bucket. That's it. Yeah, just coming off it. To get that in the workshop, weld that back on. And obviously, weld up this crack. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, the hose pipe thing's frozen, so it means we can't use the jet wash to wash the back of the header. And it's obviously covered in frost, so it's gonna be hard to put the sticky bobs on it. But we'll just use cable tires because we need to put the lights on the header for taking it to Ballsworth this afternoon. I've got to go to Everton now with the Merlot and lift the Christmas tree up for them because they've got a Christmas tree similar size to the one that I put up yesterday. And um, they can't lift it up by hand. So I'll go and do that quick, get back and sort this combine out. Get ready, my phone hasn't charged uh, like overnight. James has been messing with the charger. So yeah, I'll have to go and find something that can charge your phone in as well. It's up, but it's a bit wonky. So we're gonna try and push it square from this side. Wedge it up now, take the net off. Started to bush out now, but it's frozen. Different story to yesterday for this field of wheat. Heavier ground. Um, yeah, just pour on the headlands. But the OSR next whip, that looks pretty decent. We're doing the lights on the reel now. I feel like I should have got loads and then wrapped it round like we did with the auger because I think that looked quite effective. But I didn't have bought three sets of shorter ones. So we're gonna cable tie them on and try and do the ends. Next time a volunteer has put lights all over combine, tell me not to because it's absolutely freezing. Everything's covered in ice. We can't fit it in the workshop. Even if the workshop was empty, we wouldn't have been able to fit the, the header in. Um, yeah, and I'm frozen. Just trying to get out past the head of trailer drawbar. I can see it in the mirror. Going to go and get a set of yellow lights for the piece de resistance on the combine when it's finished. But this has been parked down the drive and it's frosted up. So I'll leave it warming up in the sun a second. That shouldn't take long at that sun now, should it? It's quite technical this because the, the wires are 16 meters long and then there's another four or five meters to get it into the cab. So we're trying to make sure that we do the lights so that we run out in the right place. The plugs will all reach up into there. And then we're just gonna have one orange lead coming out. Okay, you can see exactly where the sun's hitting. That's in like a minute. Proper bright now. Steve's just given me an elf for the seat. If you need anything, Christmas trees, Christmas lights, get yourself across the nursery. Shameless plug, because he's brilliant. He's just given me this. He looks a bit deflated at the moment, but it was the last one, so he's like, there's no point in having it on display because otherwise people are just going to keep asking us, can they buy an elf and there's none left? So he said, you yeah, I can have the display one. So thank you, Steve. All right, we'll follow the auger and pull it out, start filling it with diesel. Looks like Rob's been around here. There's some tools that been left on the tracks. Have to fill it up through the side panel because you can't hold it open because it'll pull the lights off. Just get my arm in anyway. Today's quiz question is, how many M pigeons would you get if you fired one shot at them? That concrete's just about gone off now, a few drips in it there, but be all right, Richard's getting the block work out now. Start blocking along here. This just needs a quick dusting off to that with us as well. Now, the moment of truth, are the wires gonna get snipped now when we fold the auger in? Ah. Hold on, John. Put it back out a little bit. Now we're going to make sure that's not got cut. Whoa. Hold it there. Whoa. That one's got munched, hasn't it? And that one. 
hopefully. Bought a 13 amp adapter, so to that blue plug, and it's gone. Dope. Oh, we plugged it in and it's still working past the hinge. That'll do. There we go, it's folded up without a hitch anyway. Other than that bit. <laughs> but it still works. Gonna take the header with the 724, then I can put the sat nav on the car play. We've got on this dash. Rob, it worked. No power there, no. All right. It goes backwards and forwards. Go backwards and forwards. Hey. That was a piece of that, of course. Dad's just taking the maze off the drying floor in here and then relaying it because we just want to keep agitating it so it dries quicker. So I think it's down to about 24% now. So we've lost nearly half the moisture out of it. No, we lost 20% that we needed and it doesn't need a lot more. Another sort of 10 and it's done. Right, next stop, Bolsworth. Hopefully it'll be dusk. Put the rest of the lights on the header once it's connected up. See what it looks like and then head for home. I've got the header on the back there now. Off we go. We've just arrived. I don't know if you can see by the pink sky. The sun's going down. The dogs just pulling in behind me. This, is, this road's made of railway sleepers, it's mint. Apart from years ago when I had a Lotus, I did come here and driving out, it nearly broke my teeth. Because um, it's fine in the tractor, you can't feel it, but if you've got something like really low profile tyres and hard suspension, it's like brrrr. It's a bit wet there where that maze has come off. Yeah, they do, I think. John's uh, on the radio. Little lay by made of sleepers as well. Right, I've been counting the sleepers. Does anyone want to guess how many they are, there are? I don't know how they've done it, but they've managed to go around a bend. <laughs> John's just said the quiz question should be how many sleepers? <laughs> it's a work of art, that road. You see, the main road is a narrow archway that we were never going to fit through. There's the house there. I don't know whether it's a castle or a house. I don't know what you call it. I've been called it Bolsworth Castle, but it might just be a, a big house or Bolsworth Estate, perhaps. That looks like the fairground set up on the horse arena thing. And there's all like lights in the fields. And this is where, remember, the hot air balloons were taken off in the summer from. So we just follow it along until we find where we're going. All the lights in the field there. And they light all the trees up as well. Look well different in an hour this place yeah so that must have been when they had the bonfire <laughs> yeah this was the stage and that's where the hot air balloons took off in the, over there they do loads of horse shows that's why there's like different arenas so the plan is put the header on on this tarmac bit, well yard lift it over them blocks take it down there where that van looks like it's just about to park in the way that's where we're going to park the combine nice sunset despite several low branches brushing it the lights are still on we didn't have time to wash it off properly at the back but you won't see that the dark's very forgiving in there. There you go, that's it.
There's a good picture for the uh, thumbnail. Oh look, house is all lit up now. Now oh, is the combine going to fit over these blocks? Should do, I might have to lift them little wheels up. Yeah, you're all right, go on, it's over. Look at that now. Probably would have been easier to put it in place before they put all these festoon lights up. That's probably a better thumbnail picture. One, all right, okay, okay. Yeah, keep going, keep going. The all gets rattled on the road, so we just need to push it a little bit so it's not meshing. There we go, just give it a quick poke with the ladder and then it swings it out now. Just put my hand in my pocket, found this. It is yesterday's quiz question. It's actually half a padlock. There you go. Anyway, we're just gonna light the tracks up now. Got the driver on the seat. Just now, getting the red ones ready for the tracks. Done the header with more white. Getting there. Taking shape now. See the mist coming out of the ice ring. The lasers look amazing. The lasers, all the lights have tripped out because the generator's kicked off. So I can't show you the finished, finished bit, but they're still working. Put the head of trailer in where they park the horse boxes like a load of chevrons, looks like a massive tractor tyre. Wanted to get a picture of it all lit up, but uh, the generator's broken, so it's not coming back on yet. It's a bit of a shame. The mechanic here fixing it. For anyone that doesn't know, so Bolsworth Castle Estate, I can't remember what, you, what it is, I need to ask. They, they've basically got a light trail this Christmas where you can go round it all. Anyway, the combine's there, so that's why we've took it. Anyway, I'm gonna do the birthdays now, we're back at the yard. Sorry the video's late, but anyway. Uh, Arno Trevenus, I think it pronounced as 30. Michael and Michelle from GCS Machinery. Now, Joe Seals has put you on there and John Deere Mick. Now, I don't know whether it's GCS Machinery's birthday or your birthday, I'm not really sure. Uh, I forgot to put the route on. Amount on. Ben Reach is 15. Stephen Webb is 27. And John Price, who's bringing a book out very soon. He doesn't know it yet, but it's called The Third Arch. So it's his birthday. He's 69. Good age. Um, yeah, so John's the guy that cleaned the third arch out on the river and saved the village. But the Environment Agency, Natural England, and everyone else didn't think it was a good idea. So he ended up... Um, in bother for it but yeah happy birthday john price so happy birthday everyone on there we're actually over fifty three thousand now um yeah but happy birthday everyone on there and anyone else whose birthday is today that is all for today the bits for that are arriving i think tomorrow i think most of them are in but they're gonna drop them off for us then we're gonna get that back together tomorrow and saturday hopefully get it out of the way then we can start getting some of the tractors in there and putting the lights on them ready for next sunday not sure but there might be some spaces left i haven't spoke to ian because we've been at Bolsworth all day but yeah if you've if you've got um if you want to come with the track from on the 10th around liverpool get it in i know joe seals has got a space charlotte ashley's got a space uh tom pemberton uh, just had a baby not sure but he might come to say hello um who else is coming oh i think wardy's coming over as well wardy's waffle anyway thanks for watching today i'll see you tomorrow Bye for now.